welcome back guys so today we would be uh, learning about mode so what is mode mode is something which occurs uh, very frequently that is repeated um, many a times so the uh, in this also there are three types of data raw data discrete data and continuous frequency distribution so uh, raw data discrete frequency distribution and third is continuous frequency distribution most important is the, the third type we would also be seeing the other two types uh, in the problem solving so continuous frequency distribution mod is equals to l plus f minus f1 divided by 2 f minus f1 minus f2 into c so here l is lower bound of the model class f is the frequency of the model class f1 is the frequency of the class that precedes the model class f2 is the frequency of the class that succeeds the model class c is the length of model class hence you should always note down whatever symbols you are writing like you should write the meaning of the, those symbols in your answer sheet here model class is that corresponding largest uh, frequency the class that corresponds to the largest frequency uh, i would suggest you to note down uh, this formula and uh, their meaning meaning of all the variables uh, pause the video and note down Now le let us proceed with problem solving. The type A is raw data. A few data are given. Uh, raw data are given. Find the mode. So see uh, which number, which observation is occ occurring most frequently. That is repeated many times. Two, 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 two. Two comes four times. Three, three. Three comes two times. So which uh, number occurs uh, most uh, frequently? That is two. So our mode is two. This is raw type. Uh, raw data type. Now, discrete type of data. Find the model age of married woman at first childbirth. So, age of the uh, age at the birth of first child is given, and the uh, number of women are, are given. So, uh, frequency is given, and the uh, class is given. Not class, but X label is given. So, C four thirty five is the maximum frequency is occurring um, maximum times that see it is the highest value in the frequency uh, line so uh, which uh, age corresponds to this 435 that is 18 so highest frequency is 435 and corresponding age is 18 so model age of a married woman at the uh, at the first childbirth is 18 years now to the most important question Continuous frequency distribution type of problem. Calculate the mod of the following data. Class is given 130 to 134, 135 to 139 and so on and the frequencies are given. I have written this uh, below because I did not have space there. Also notice that 134 is the lower sorry upper bound of this class and 135 is the lower bound of second class. But that is not how continuous uh, frequency distribution should be. Then we should make them uh, continuous. Uh, like not continuous but inclusive. So 130 to 134. So what we need to do is we subtract uh, 0.5 from the upper bound, lower bound. That is 130. 130 minus 0 0.5. And we add uh, 0 0.5 to the upper bound. 134 plus 0 0.5. Cool. We'll do that in all the classes. We have already done uh, that uh, in the previous uh, problem solving classes. So um, I need not to explain this again. Now make two columns class and frequency. Uh, I have not made table here, but you should make table lines. So now I have, uh, I have uh, subtracted 0 0.5 and uh, added 0 0.5 in all the classes and lower and upper uh, values. I have subtracted 0.5 from the lower bounds and the and add 0.5 uh, in the upper bounds of all the classes and these are the frequencies so total uh, frequency is 100 the highest frequency corresponds to what is the highest frequency here 28 right so 28 corresponds to this class 139.5 to 144.5 so this is the model class this is the model class now we read about other symbols right f f1 and f2 so what is f f is the frequency of the model class so note down this this is f f f1 is the 
frequency preceding to the frequency of the model class this would be f1 and f2 would be the frequency succeeding the frequency of model class that is 28 uh, 28 is succeeded by 24 so 24 is that f2 now what is l l is the lower limit of the model class that is 139.5 what is uh, uh, f i told you the frequency of the model class 28 f1 is the frequency the which precedes the frequency of model class this one and f2 is the frequency which succeeds the frequency of the model class that is 24 succeeds uh, the frequency of 28 now uh, what is c c is the class length what is the length of the class that is 5 144.5 minus 139.5 now simply put put all those value in the formula this is the formula i explained you and it would result uh, in, it would result mode is equals to 143.3235 now there is a very important relationship which is called an empirical relationship between arithmetic mean, median and mode. So arithmetic mean or simply mean minus mode is equals to 3 into arithmetic mean minus median. Symbolically this is how we represent mode is equals to 3 median minus 2 arithmetic mean that is mean. So let us see a problem on it. If uh, there is a raw data given. So now uh, what is the uh, maximum frequency? 2 2 are occurring 2 times 3 3 are occurring 3 times so it is a bimodal data now arithmetic mean is summation of x by n n is nothing but number of observation and summation is a sum of all these values 33 by 9 that is 3.6667 to find the median arrange the data in ascending order we have arranged the data in ascending order and the middlemost value is 3 that would be the median so using the empirical uh, formula what we need to find is our mode because here we cannot see uh, what exactly the mode is because 3 occurs 2 times 2 occurs 2 times so we cannot decide uh, by just looking the, onto the data so if a problem comes like this uh, to find the mode then you have to uh, use the empirical formula to solve arithmetic mean we uh, calculated then median we calculated then using the uh, empirical formula that is arithmetic mean minus mode is equals to 3 mean minus median we can find the mode so mode will keep here and uh, we'll shift this to the right hand si side and when we solve we'll get 1.666 as the mode